Greetings everyone and welcome back to Age of Empires 2 Definitive Edition with me Kemzit. We shall be continuing on with the custom campaign in Janus Hunyadi in mission of 5 of the 6 Battle of Varna upon Erko Cappy's request. Now, uh, the expedition did not yield substantial results, but it yielded several great victories over the Ottomans. And in the fall of 1444, Crusader Ferv uh, Fervor was once again at its peak. And Christians were convinced that the Ottoman Empire could no longer withstand their next offensive. When Hunyadi led his army into a battle with Moor II outside Varna, who would be the victor of history? We shall see. Although many soldiers complain about the years of war, we as soldiers responded to General Hunyadi's conscription order and prepared for the coming war. On the one hand, we had no choice. And on the other hand, we all held more or less the feeling of our country, hoping that this battle would really drive the Ottomans out of Europe completely. Moreover, the scale of the crusade was much larger than the previous one. The Byzantine Emperor John VIII himself visited Europe to ask for help, and the Pope's speeches everywhere once again ignited the enthusiasm of the Christians. In addition to our allied forces with Poland, the republics of Genoa and Venice would blockade the Ottoman from the sea, the Balkan countries that were not willing to be subordinate to the Ottoman Empire joined the crusade, and even the Teutonic Knights, Burgundians, and Italian mercenaries pledged to participate. When the Ottomans learned that we had broken the peace treaty, their Grand Vizier ordered the fortification of Edena, and some of the nobles began to evacuate all their possessions to Anatolia. These signs greatly boosted the morale of the crusaders, and we all became confident that the battle would end in our victory, and that the Ottomans would have to retreat helplessly to their barren lands in Asia. But the seemingly mighty crusaders were not that united. The young king was determined to make a name for himself by cutting off the heads of the infidels, but he couldn't control the whole army, the Pope was so active only because he wanted to merge the eastern and western churches, and it was not clear whether the mercenaries he had recruited could hold their ground if the situation changed on the battlefield, and the Balkan volunteers, although they were fighting for their own territories, were not firm in their position either. Vlad II, the Grand Duke of Wallachia, is said to have begged the general with tears not to let his troops to join, otherwise his sons, who were taken hostage in Ottoman, would be killed. But the general still insisted strongly that his cavalry join the crusaders. After all, we need all the forces we can muster. But the fervor of the crusaders burned away these worries like a blaze. We marched toward the Ottoman fortress on the Black Sea coast in the autumn of 1444, hoping to wipe out the elite Ottoman forces there once and for all. According to reports from the front, the Ottoman army had already arrived in Bulgaria, under the command of Sultan Murad II. The night before the march, General Honyodi gave an impassioned speech. He said, We have seen enough of men in chains and women raped, we have seen enough of chariots full of heads and the misery of auctioning off slaves in shackles and fetters. We have tasted enough of the insults to our religion, which have grown from year to year. Our enemies have attacked us countless times, and as long as we do not crush them, they will never cease to invade us, and there is not, nor can there be, a lasting peace between us and them. Wait, what? Chariots, really? <coughs> I don't believe Ottomans use chariots at all. Ah, what else? But I mean, it is quite nice. <laughs> speech um let's see we shall crush the ottomans anyway or so we shall maybe we don't know oh, wait Murad's army is approaching bulgaria we must immediately capture varna and prepare for the coming battle sure but we must first meet our immediate needs we're running out of provisions so we'll have to go to the nearby village of Wallachia to get some first okay um, destroy uh, at least one of like a mill to get food. Kill all garrison oc to occupy Varne. If food ruins out, all units will hit one HP per sec second. Okay, destroy one or two Malakia mills to get food. Let Hunyadi fight to upgrade him in him and increase the work rate of military buildings. At first, the work rate of military buildings two hundred percentage, and it can increase to four hundred percentage. When morale is three hundred percentage out of uh, three hundred. Uh, Morale, okay, right, 320 of that. Okay, right, 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 right. 
Uh, hint: the population cap of Unyori is 150. Without needs of houses in in this in the final battle, you will be able to use your previous troops and resources. The level is fast space and you do not have time to recruit villages and develop economy. Ultimate elite troops have advanced weapons, and their cavalry and gunpowder troops have various abilities such as armor breaking and charge attacks. In final battle, so it will be difficult to defeat them if you do not find ways to weaken them or strengthen our strength. Um, the troops of Wolakia and the Papal Sluts are important forces in the duo, but we need to help them to get rid of the troubles first. Honyari's bravery in a battle will boost morale and make the army train faster. Scouts, your scouts report Honyari One Green has preparing to garrison Varna. Also, the first blue knights and Polish wing cavalry will be stationed at another fortress of the Black Coast. The Ottoman army consists of several parts. The elite force, five raid guarded two castles and were prepared to fight the crusaders in a final battle. The other three armies, Sion, uh, six Sion, seven purple, eight grey are stationed in different locations and defeating them can weaken the elite troops uh, force. The Ottoman army is six Sion has some camps which they defend with camels, sultimate and cavalry archers. While light cavalry, gulums and hand cannons are involved in attacks in the attack of Varna. The other army seven purple has most of its troops in to defend the town center but it also sent some siege weapons. The castle by Lake Varda, um, eight grey will not attack actively. They and they defend with heavy infantry and hand cannoneers. Well, wait, well, who knew the? Ah, this farm is ours now. Get out of the Balkans, you infidels! Kill these Ottoman defenders and take the food away. I'm already dying of hunger. Man, finally, there is food again. But Wallachia is our ally. Is it good for us to plunder their villages like that? Yeah, it is because it's our food, dude. In order to feed the army, it was necessary to sacrifice the farms of Wallachia. This place has been burned by the Ottomans before, and I'm sure Vlad can understand what we're doing. <laughs> Maybe he won't. He will be like, ah, how dare you! Now let's go. Varna is up ahead. The citizens are not hostile to us. If we can kill the guards here, we can control the city. The infidels must not be allowed to control the ports of the Black Sea. Hey, you damn guys. Why aren't you shooting arrows? in Varna are supporting us, otherwise we would have been shot by the castle. This implies that as long as we unite, we can definitely drive the infidels out of Europe. Tomorrow morning there will be an inevitable battle between us and the infidels. So we must take advantage of the night to make all preparations and weaken the enemy as much as possible. Oh, 
The Crusaders want to blow up our gunpowder factories to weaken our firearms. But I'm afraid they don't know how many weapons we have in our supplies. Funny. Charge! Come on, boys. Are the Hungarian troops coming? Great. Let's take this Ottoman fortress quickly to spare our army. That's not a problem. But do you only have such a small force? They've left the second trying to break the treaty again. My father was kind enough to send these troops. My brother is taken hostage by Ottoman and now he probably got killed. Orange. 
the Crusaders destroyed one of our castles with Wallachian troops. Damn traitor Vlad, I'll report it to the Sultan. Come on boys, let's go! Very well, since you helped destroy the Ottoman fortress, we promise to join in the final battle. But don't forget the blood Wallachia paid for. Nice! We've crushed them all! Kinda. We've destroyed all the Ottoman gunpowder factories nearby. It won't completely stop them from making weapons, but at least could slow them down. Destroy this town? Nice, that's another one. The cannot get more supplies and will be greatly weak. This time we will not lose to the infants. More reinforcements arriving. We're going to destroy these little camp here. Hopefully, oh shit, fell back. We can't, we need those cannons to arrive as quickly as possible. We still have 11 minutes. We should be able to destroy everything then. If I can open the gates, we should be fine. Move in, boys! But I'm afraid we'll have to completely eliminate the Navy and Lake Barnet to ensure a safe landing for the Pope's troops. Certainly. We destroyed one of the enemy's docks, 
but I'm afraid we'll have to completely eliminate the Navy in Lake Farnet to ensure a safe landing for the Pope's troops. Oh great, we need to be careful here. Right. We destroyed one of the enemy docks, but I'm afraid we'll have to completely eliminate the Navy in Lake Barnett to ensure a safe landing for the Pulse troops. Nice! They surrendered! We have helped to clear the way for the Pulse Army. Now they will be able to provide strong assistance in the coming battle. Good, what now? We have done everything we can to weaken the living forces of the Ottomans and to strengthen our army. God blessing, we will win this battle and remove the Ottoman forces from Europe once and for all. Nuts, charge with me. It's time for the infidels to end their reign. Today is our chance to crush their army and capture the Sultan alive. Your Majesty, as before, Please stay in the camp and never go deep into the battlefield. Your safety is the most important thing. King of Poland, I had already signed a peace treaty with you, but you broke the agreement so shamelessly. It seems that your arrogance can only be crushed in battle. The battle is on. The Ottoman camps are still training more soldiers. We must destroy the living forces first, and then quickly destroy their buildings. The Pashas of Mirat are fighting on the battlefield. If we can kill them first, they will not only damage their morale, but also disrupt the Ottoman internal effect. Two passes die in the hands of the Crusaders. Are we going to lose the battle? Go, 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 come on! Crusaders hold the upper hand for now. Retreat. But we have twice the soldiers, so prepare for the next charge immediately. We'll win. Your Majesty, although we have the advantage now, the Ottoman cavalries will soon charge the right flank, and I'm going to support, so please keep your position until I return. Now is my chance to cut off the heads of the heretics myself, and I can't let it go easily. Polish knights, charge with me. How dare the reckless Polish king charge alone with such a small army? This is the end of him. Cut off his head before he gets anywhere near the tent. 
No! How can I die here? I haven't finished my mission yet. I have to cut off the head of that heretic with my own hands. The Polish king is such a fool. He really thinks that such a small number of cavalries can kill the Sultan? The Crusaders lose their leader. We win. Your Majesty, why didn't you listen to me and stay at your position? Now we have no chance of winning. I have to retreat with my army. The king is dead. In the midst of a chaotic battle, there comes a sudden and terrible wail. The right flank we were in was already in chaos under the onslaught of sepoys and genissaries, and we could only barely hold the line with Hussite wagons. Now everyone was even more panicked and scattered themselves to escape. I cut off the head of a Turkish soldier and stopped my horse to try to figure out the current situation. But in a moment, General Honyodi rushed into the battlefield with his cavalry. He waved his long sword while trying to call the soldiers back to their positions. But no one in the Celtic army even listened to his orders. Counterattack. Although I don't know what happened, the king has died in battle and we have lost the war. What could be done even if we gained a temporary advantage? With the loss of the king, we had become a scattered mess. Swept away by fear, I did not have the courage to continue the counterattack, but hastily began to flee, avoiding the Ottoman lances and cannons as much as possible. God bless, one by one, though the cavalries around me fell on the muddy outskirts of Vana, I miraculously managed to stand out and escape all the way to our fortress at Golota, stumbling into our last refuge. It wasn't long before General Honyodi also fled back here with the remnants of his army. His armor was stained with blood, and only a small troop remained with him. Our counterattack had become a complete failure, only accelerating the speed we were killed by the Ottoman army. The escape back to Buda was even more miserable. Considering the situation, Vlad II quickly fell back to the Ottomans and we were constantly attacked by Turkish pursuers in Wallachia, losing more than half of our men. Disheartened, hungry and cold, many more knights lost their footing and fell off the cliffs in the Balkan mountains. By the grace of God, the rest of us eventually made it home safely, but we were utterly defeated and there was no one left to stop the Ottomans. And for General Hunyodi, the military defeat was not the worst part. With the loss of our 22-year-old king, Hungary was left without a monarch and the federation with Poland was also cut down. Although the general would never submit to the Ottoman Empire, he had to concentrate on internal affairs, otherwise the great nobles would once again drag Hungary into chaos. For the next two years, after having secured his power, the general worked on recruiting crusaders again, but after the defeat in Vanna, Europeans lost the confidence, so finally he had no choice but to give up. The nobles then remembered Ladislaus V, who had fled to Vienna with his mother, and hoped that he would succeed as king. But Frederick III would not let the young king out, so the nobles had to choose General Hunyodi as regent. I don't see what difference it would have made. Even if the six-year-old Ladislaus V had been crowned king, General Hunyodi would still dominate the situation. In the following years, I continued station at the Transylvania Manors. It was come here, only with occasional provocations by Ottoman soldiers on the border. The attention of the infidels was now focused on Constantinople, the city was already in their hands, and the ancient Byzantine Empire could meet its end at any moment. After reaching a temporary peace with Frederick III, General Honyodi began to threaten Wallachia, Czech and other regions by force, in order to make them provide troops again and form a new crusade, he still did not give up the war against the Ottomans. During this period, Vlad II was killed in the battle and his son was defeated by General Hunyodi after he succeeded to the Grand Dukeship with the support of the Ottomans, but this is another story. In 1448, with these newly collected troops, General Hunyodi decided to launch another war against the Ottomans. He contacted the Albanian hero, Skanderbeg, and decided to attack the Ottoman army in Kosovo. But the general's troops were defeated before Skanderbeg arrived. On the way to escape he was even severely blackmailed by the Serbian tyrant Brankovic. In 1452, Ladislaus V was forcibly released by the Austrian nobles, and the exhausted General Honyodi resigned his regency to welcome the new king. However, the threat from the Ottoman Empire was far from over. Without a doubt, 
Oh, we've done a quite quick run, but that was also told by the uh, dudes anyway. And the speed was on uh, moderate as well. Well, fast, I don't know why, but I think it was that option, whatever. But uh, we done greatly. It was quite easy. I would have expected more resistance from the Ottoman armies as well. And I would have expected more help from the older troops too. But uh, we didn't get too much help from Wallachia and all that, but too bad. And his name should have been Wallachia instead of... Uh, this uh, texture, I don't know what language that is, uh, don't ask me. Um, yeah, we have done this, we're gonna move on to the next mission, which be uh, which should be Siege of Belgrade. So for now, this is it, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give a like button and subscribe to my channel if you're new and if you support it. Do you want to recommend something? We're going to game together as possible as well. Just write down comments box below or join me to Discord server so we can have a chat, -chat about it. Till then, I shall see you guys in my next uh, video.